Welcome to Dr. Sam's Anatomy Classes. This is an ospi on nerves of the orbit. Objective structured practical examination. In the form of MCQ, I have prepared this. So which statement is wrong regarding the contents of the orbit? So the answer is secretomotor fibers to the lacrimal gland come from the deep petrosal nerve. This means that this is a wrong statement. Got it? So answer is B. So here you need to know about the innovation of the lacrimal gland. Lacrimal gland, you know, is a content of the orbit, right? And uh, you know the superior orbital fissure posteriorly through which this ophthalmic nerve entering and this ophthalmic nerve is a branch of it's actually v1 division of trigeminal nerve so ophthalmic nerve with three divisions frontal lacrimal and nasociliary through its three divisions it enters into the orbit lacrimal nerve now you can see is carrying sensory fibers from the lacrimal gland general sensations okay then outside to this orbit posterior inferior medially there is a cave like space and on either sides of the uh, nose deep down in the facial skeleton and that is called pterygopalatine fossa since this pterygopalatine fossa posterly has these openings one of them is this foramen of rotundum this opens behind into the middle cranial fossa through that this v2 division of trigeminal that is maxillary nerve that enters the pterygopalatine fossa and through this nerve there are two roots and to that two roots there is the suspension of this pterygopalatine ganglion within this fossa pterygopalatine fossa posterly it has again a opening that is called the pterygoid uh, canal. The pterygoid canal posteriorly opens into the foramen of lacerum. Now, the foramen lacerum lodges, the, you know, it's a part of internal carotid artery seen there. And this internal carotid artery is surrounded by a sympathetic nerve plexus. So this sympathetic nerve plexus gives out its branch here that's called deep petrosal nerve. Remember, deep petrosal nerve is a sympathetic nerve. Then in the middle cranial fossa, you also find this nerve called greater petrosal nerve. Some authors may also write it as greater superficial petrosal nerve just to differentiate between, you know, deep and superficial petrosal nerves. So this, uh, you know, greater petrosal nerve is actually bringing parasympathetic uh, fibers. These are preganglionic parasympathetic fibers, right? These fibers, like, you know, let me tell you, it's coming right from the brain stem. And there is superior salivatory nucleus, remember? Then through those, you know, um, that nerve, nervous intermediates, then to the facial nerve, to the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve from there this nerve greater petrosal nerve arises and then through the hiatus of this greater petrosal nerve to the anterior of the petrous temporal bone that's called you know tegment tympani and then through it descends down medially towards foramen lacerum now in the foramen lacerum greater superficial petrosal and deep petrosal together join to form this nerve and this nerve is also called nerve of pterygoid canal or better called as ovidian nerve by some authors you will also find this is also called ovidian nerve 
Okay, so the green color fibers are the preganglionic sympathetic fibers. They relay here now. After being relayed, now the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers, you can see here, they will now ascend up to the, you know, the distal limb of this ganglion. And through the distal limb, both, so, you know, postganglionic parasympathetic as well as sympathetic fibers. Both will now run via this maxillary nerve, which gives its branch called zygomatic nerve. Now, zygomatic nerve gives its branch called zygomatico temporal nerve. Now, this nerve, actually, zygomatico temporal nerve, pierces through this little wall of the orbits and reaches within the orbit. Now, within the orbit, like to the uh, just near to the lacrimal gland, to the you know, you can see that like nearly to the terminal portion of the lacrimal nerve, the distal portion of the lacrimal nerve, it joins lacrimal nerve and then it innervates this lacrimal gland. Got it? So, sympathetic, parasympathetic and sensory innervation of the lacrimal gland. I've taught you. Remember this. Okay? So, answer the answer will be that the secret fibers to the lacrimal gland come from the greater petrosal nerve, not through the deep petrosal nerve. And by the way, there are four types of petrosal nerve, you know, deep petrosal nerve, greater superficial petrosal nerve, I've already taught you here. Then there is also lesser petrosal nerve and external petrosal nerve. So about the different petrosal nerves, there's already a, a lecture uploaded in my playlist in the neuroanatomy or head and neck portion i guess you go and uh, watch that video okay done